Greetings friend, I will show you how to solve this puzzle using X-Wings. The last one's the most important because it requires a little trick to make it work. Not only that, but I'll also share another cool fact about our Friday featured setter, Florian Wortman. Click below to give it a go. With that, it's solving time. Okay, you can make some progress in this puzzle. You see these fives in rows four and five, and this five coming down column seven. You can solve for a five right there. It's the only one left in block six. You can also solve for the ones. You got ones here in columns four and six, and this one cutting across row two means you can solve that for a one. And then these sixes in rows seven and eight, and these sixes in columns two and three. Anytime you have four of the same candidate going into a block, you know you can solve it because there's only going to be one available space, and that's for that six. And by solving the six first, now you come across with these fours, and notice there's only one place left for a four, so you can solve that for a four. Uh, not quite done yet, almost there. We got these twos here in rows four and six. Got this two coming up, column two means the only one place left for a two here in block four, right there. So all, so far these are all pretty much hidden singles, but we have one naked single as well. If you look right here, what can this cell be? Well, it can't be a one, two, three, four, five, six, eight or nine. You can solve that cell for a seven. And after you solve that, you're not really gonna be able to find anything else to solve. Um, and if you looked at this pattern, Florian called it Earth, but it doesn't really have anything to do with the way it looks. Uh, it just fits in with the theming for the elements for uh, all these puzzles he gave me. You might think, oh, set might work for this because you've, if you've ever seen some set puzzles, this thing like the final countdown is, is when it comes to mind by Philip Newman uh, seems to follow this. And in fact, it keeps, Watch it to the end. I'll give you a link to that final countdown video. It's a great one. You'll you'll love it. But set won't work here because these candidates, like in columns two, and let's say if we match it up, try to match it up with columns uh, six or column four, they're not the same candidates. It's two, four, five, six. This is one, three, six, nine, one, two, five, eight. It won't work. Set will not work in this puzzle. But this type of strategy or, or this type of grid is also very good for using X-Wings and Swordfish. So single candidate strategies still work really well here. All right, well, let's see if we can find something. Of course, the easier, the better. Let's start with the ones here. Where can ones be in this puzzle? All right, we're gonna look here. Two spots for one in those blocks, blocks. So everything I'm highlighting is where a one uh, could possibly be, right? And I think, oh, got that one for a one as well. That one's a pretty important one. All right, so let's color this up. We'll start with purple. Okay, do you see an X-Wing? Uh, I will show you where it is if you do not see it. Okay, you're looking in rows five and seven, and we'll color this up with yellow. So an X-Wing, two by two. Basically, uh, whenever a cannon is limited to the same two columns in two rows, uh, that creates an X-Wing. So a one could be here. And then if the one's here, then another one would have to be there. Or if the one's not here, it'd have to be here. And the other one would have to be there, right? Because there's only two places for the ones. These are my base sets. And then these columns are our cover sets. And what it means is we can eliminate ones, uh, any other one in those columns that are not in the yellow. So you can eliminate a one from right here. And I'm just going to use the color to kind of show this idea so once you eliminate that one from right there that means there's only one place left for a one in block one right there's only one colored cell remaining and so i can solve that for a one uh i think keep in mind is that a one can't be down here I'll, I'll refer to that a little bit later but you need to know that this can no longer be a one because it is in column nine just like that can't be a one either but i'm not going to go through and mark all the cells you don't need to do all of that you just need to know that that is a one all right and like someone's been showing me here, if I can just go right there, I can eliminate all of those nice colors with one keystroke. Now let's look at the twos. All right, look at the twos. And I said, there's actually three X-Wings I'm going to show you. The last one's the most important. You got to keep watching. Uh, otherwise, you're not going to see the little trick I'm going to show you in between. And I get to tell you something great about Florian. So keep watching. This is great stuff. Let's look at these twos. All right, where can twos be? And right there, we can put twos there, twos, and go there. All righty, marking up where the twos can be. And I think I got all of the twos. Let's get rid of the four that are already 
there. And what color we want to use for the twos? Let's go for blue with the twos. Might as well do something a little different here. All right, do you see the X-Wing? And what's neat about these X-Wings that Florian put in is they're not symmetrical. There's only one way. you got to see the X-Wing going across the row for the base sets and the columns as a cover. All right, we'll do that in yellow again. Just kind of stand out our X-Wing. Here we go. Rows 3 and row 7, the twos are limited to the same two columns, right? They're limited to columns 4 and column 9. So that means the twos got to be either here, here, or here and here. So we can eliminate all these other twos. Now the two that you really need to eliminate and care about is right down there. And if you remember what I said before, we can eliminate a one from that cell as well. Okay, so what could this cell be now? Well, it can't be a one or a two. It could be a three, but it can't be a four or five or a six. It could be a seven, eight or a nine. But it can't be a one or two, right? Because of the X wings. Um, that's critical, and let's get rid of the colors now. I'm not going to mark the others. We don't necessarily need that to help solve this puzzle. So let's go here. Let's get rid of those nice colors, and we'll move on here. So what is the big deal? Like, okay, Timberlake, why are you showing us? Because this is the little trick. I told you I'd give you a little trick, and then I'm going to show you that most important X-Wing that we need. And the trick is right here. See how the 1-2 comes down column 8, and the 1-2 cuts across? row eight and now we know a one two can't be there well there's not now only two spots for a one and a two in block nine it's those two spots so that's a hidden pair it creates a hidden pair but without the x-wings you can't make that hidden pair deduction this is going to come in really handy here in just a second but before to get i get to that i do want to share my awesome lauren workman fact and you're probably wondering, how long does it take for Florian to create and set these puzzles? And he said, it's anywhere from 10 minutes, like the one that he made for me called Time. That was the first one I showed this month. Or up to 12 to 15 hours he spent on a puzzle before. So one of them on Logic Masters Germany, he spent 12 to 15 hours. And 80% of his set setting is all for... Uh, variants. So he doesn't do a lot of classics, but when he does, I really like to show him on this channel. All right, so let's get back to this most important X-Wing. All right, the third one. Well, what's nice is that you just got to go up one more digit. Let's go to the threes. You just got to go to the threes right now. Okay, where can threes be? Let's mark all these wonderful threes. And the way this grid works is what really makes the X-Wing come out and that you'll be able to find the X-Wing because of all the the kind of thatching type look with these uh, candidates that are inter intermixed here in the middle. Okay, let's get rid of our three because I don't want to color those up. Let's do another color. Let's do green. Do you see the X-Wing? Maybe you do. Hopefully you do. All right, it's with the rose again. Here we go. And I should have done this way. I don't want to confuse you. All right, rows five and seven is our X-Wing. So what's nice? Now, you notice if that was still a three, then this wouldn't be an X-Wing. You actually could make a swordfish out of it, but then the solve becomes a little bit harder. That's why I showed you that little trick. But now we know this isn't a three. This is an X-Wing. So a three has got to be here, 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 and here. And what is important about that? Well, what's nice is we can eliminate a three. I'll actually use all the colors uh, that we can eliminate the threes from because I want to be able to show you something cool here. All right. Right? Threes can't be in any of those color spots. So do we have any rows where there's only one green? And the answer is yes, right here now. Because we eliminated three from this spot, this has to be a three. And we can eliminate the three from down there. Uh, not that critical, but this is great. This is really awesome for us. And like I said, stay tuned to the end. I want to show you another great puzzle I did with a lot of uh, X-Wing Swordfish um, by Philip Newman. But we're going to keep on going because now we got to be able to find this neat solve path to get to the end of the puzzle. First thing we're going to do is get rid of all the colors. Again, we don't need to do any more real marking here. And that's the beauty of this puzzle. You could actually find some more X-Wings. There's an X-Wing of sixes. There's actually a swordfish at nines. So I'm, I wouldn't be surprised in the comments if you were like, oh, I found a different strategy to get through this. Uh, but I showed you the three quickest strategies and that little trick, to hopefully to get to solving the quickest. Okay, 
Let's remove all of our wonderful colors here. Boom. If you're still not sure how to find and solve Sudoku X-Wings, please check out my Sudoku X-Wing and Skyscraper tutorial. I'll put a link to it right here. And where I add it, subscribe to Smart Hobbies. And you go, okay, what do we do from here? Would well, you remember that the Swordfish of Twos was here and here, right? Well, we just removed the two from there. That's the three now. We know we can solve this cell right away for a two. And if you look, you'll notice that can't be a two because of this. This can't be a two because of this cell. And this can't be a two because of here. So we can solve that for a two. And that's huge. And now we can actually solve the other part of that swordfish, which is right here, for a two as well. Because we know that the two could be there, you know, that's like you said, there and there. So that's a pretty quick little, uh, another neat little trick I just shared with you. And so we can solve those twos right away. We can solve this for a one. Now, what does that do for us? It's going to help us make some uh, pretty quick solves. So we got one and one here it means this has to be a one. Now with these two ones and this one means this has to be a one. And now you got one, 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 one left right here in block six. So we took care of the ones pretty quick. And if you look down this uh, column, we're going to try to fill in the columns that have the most cells uh, filled in already. So you can see you've got a one, two, three, six, seven, nine. We're missing a four, five, and eight. I got a four and an eight here it means this has to be a five. And that's going to be helpful because now we can start filling in column seven here. What are we missing? Looks like we're missing a three and a nine. I got a three right here. So here's your nine and here is your three. Now we can really get to do some great solving. You got a three, four, six here in block five, three coming up, three cutting across. This has to be a three. And then you got this four cutting across there. So this is going to be your four and this would be your six. All right, and then let's look. We got six and a six here it means this has to be a six as well. And you got the uh, six coming up, six cutting across means this has to be a six. With this six cutting across here, we can pretty much knock out all of the sixes. Yep, we got all those sixes. And really, really cool how this puzzle just starts uh, falling apart here, how it really starts to come together. I love the solve pass that Florian puts in after you get those main strategies. And we're not done, so keep watching. We want to make sure that we can knock out all those strategies. There's a couple of little tricks here still to go. What do we need here? Looks like a seven and an eight. Can't solve that yet. What do we need right here? I'm always looking for the grace restriction a three and an eight. Well, I got my three right here. So this has to be your eight. That has to be your three. And now I can go, okay, this is my eight and that's my seven, right? Because I knew putting that eight there means this could no longer be an eight. Now I can finish up block six with a four. Great. And then with these two fours and this four means I can solve for four right here, solve for four right there and a four down there. What do we have left? We're missing uh, an eight. So we need to get that eight in as well okay and then this eight with the two eights in columns one and three means this has to be an eight I've got a full house here always want to solve those full houses that's going to be a seven all right and what do we have there's two missing candidates here it's got seven and nine can't solve the seven nine yet um but what we can do is finish this full house right we can actually solve this for seven so that's helpful and then what we can do is look and go all right, seven's got to be in one of those two spots. Seven's got to be in one of those two spots. This has to be a seven. Other way you can look at it is, okay, seven comes across here. No place left for seven in column two. That's going to be a nine. And now with this nine coming up, we know we can solve for a nine right there. Awesome. And then what do we have here? It looks like a two and an eight. I got my eight. So here's your eight. Here's your two. You want to be really good at this part of solving. Otherwise, you can make an easy mistake and think you broke the puzzle. And now if this two cutting across and this two coming up means this has to be a two and leaves that as a seven. If you remember, we have a seven and a nine right there. And so we can knock that out. And then what are we missing down this column? Looks like we need three and a five. Can't solve that. So this is a three and it looks like a five and a nine. Can't really solve that either. So let's go to this full house first and go, okay, there, there's our nine because that's the only candidate remaining here, right? And so now with the nine cutting across here and this nine coming down, we now we can solve this for our nine. And we're missing a two and an eight here, so this has got to be your two. That's got to be your eight. Come across here, and this eight coming down means this has to be an eight. That's going to be a seven. 
All right, we got another full house down here, missing a five and a full house in this wonderful block. So this is gonna be your three. Okay, the only place left for a three down here in block seven is right here now, which means we can solve this for a five. Come on up, solve this for a five. And our last can is a three. You need to check out this other video if you wanna solve X-Wings and Swordfish even better. Thank you so much, Florian, for this great puzzle. And thank you so much for watching.